That's a bit better. Hi guys! <laughs> um, we just wanted to make a quick video because one, uh, we just came back from Taco Bell and trying those uh, naked chalupa thingies. Those uh, naked chicken chalupa. Oh, we have one in here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah naked it. chicken chalupa. Which we're not gonna like eat it on here because we just had like two of them. But it's really good. It is really good. Like pretty it's, much, it's like uh, fried chicken and then like it's everything's a all inside. white, all white meat chicken shell that's been it's been marinated and they put the lettuce and tomatoes Sauces. and sauce and. That's normally inside. on a chalupa, is all inside. It is so, very, very good. It is good. really good. It is really good. It was. It was so good. I don't normally care for the chalupas, but that was really good. I'd definitely get that again. I love chalupas, so, like, it, it was. It was one of my favorites. Um, Another thing, like, we wanted to do a quick video is another little taste test. And so, if uh, lighting sounds a little weird, you guys would laugh at us right now because we are sitting on the floor with my phone recording and like my laptop is up here with like Google open so it's bright because it was really really dark. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to record on the laptop but I didn't like how it looked so. Yeah it was really 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 grainy and like we'd go like this and like two seconds later it just it was yeah, really slow. Yeah it, it was like it was slow so I, I didn't care for that. Maybe next time we could try moving the lamp over here and just Possibly, a quick I don't know. thing. But uh, we do have a we do have a little taste test. So uh, happy St. Patrick's Day! I know <laughs> we're, we're skipping one, but this is her idea. So these are shamrock cupcakes. They are creamy mint filling. I wanted one, and I wanted to do like a taste test. And we already opened the box. We already opened we gave the box. Yeah, we, we gave her mom one. So. I wanted one, and I wanted to do like a so, taste test, um, so, yeah. Hostess changed their packaging to yeah. the clear. It was so funny because we always get mom the ding-dongs, which is like a little hockey puck cupcake yeah. thing, and they always came in the white thing, and dad was always like, they're, those aren't ding-dongs, they're in like the white package, and mom's like, I'll bet you a thousand dollars. He kept saying <laughs> that they're in foil. Yeah, foil too. Yeah, it, he was like, saying that they're in foil. foil. It's like no, it's not foil. <laughs> but but they're in yeah. they're in clear packaging now. I actually like so it. You can actually see it. These have these have the green, the green frosting. I love uh, what are these so, uh, cupcakes? Just yeah, the cupcakes. these are just cupcakes. But I'm, it's the chocolate chocolate cake, as you can see with the green frosting. It's just uh, just regular frosting, the normal frosting that they put mm. on there. Also, um, McDonald's has nine. <laughs> McDonald's, the curly cue, yeah. the pigtail. Uh, <laughs> McDonald's has their shamrock shakes, which they have the they shamrock. Have, they have the, they have new ones. Uh, they have their normal shamrock shake. A chocolate shamrock. Chocolate shake. shamrock. A shake. hot cocoa. They do have a shamrock hot cocoa. And then the. They had a uh, shamrock frap. Oh, but the chocolate chips. With, yeah, with chocolate chips. It was chips. like the shamrock it, chocolate chip frappuccino or something. And they also had, it was another coffee item. I didn't remember that one. It was, uh, I can't remember it now either. But yeah, they got a lot of new ones. They seem, like, they're not as good as they used to be, yeah. at least the one right here. Um, it, seem, it's, it seemed like it, would, it wasn't really minty like how it used to be like it was like very 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 fake artificial flavor tasting yeah it and it and also was, muted it, it was weird yeah it was uh you could definitely taste the green dye you can definitely taste the dye it, it like you know a shake is supposed to be thick and everything this was like really soupy so yeah, it, was, it was it was like liquid like straight up yeah liquid. It might have just been like our McDonald's, but it, it was just kind of disappointing. Yeah, it disappointed. It was disappointing because like last year they didn't have it, at least at ours they didn't, yeah, they have, didn't it. have it. And then this year they actually have it at ours, and it's like all subpar. So it disappointed us a little bit. But anyways, we got our cupcakes here. Okay, so the frosting on top isn't mint. No. I, I, fi it I figured it wasn't. It's just the regular frosting. I already said that. Oh, so the the mint is the cream. Oh, 
the cream oh, filling. And the cake. No, the mint's chalk. There, the cake is chocolate. It has a little bit of mint in it, like how the Girl Scout cookies are. The thin mints, it has a little Yeah, bit. but it's, it's, the cake is filled with the cream. I know, but I'm so just saying. So, of course, it's going to get some mint in it. box. Really? <laughs> she has not been paying attention to Jack's shit lately. Yeah. I Neither didn't say you. it. <laughs> you haven't been paying attention to anything either. Yeah. Not on because earlier I told you what was in the loco the naked chalupa box. I had just said it and he was like what's what comes in it? I was like it's I because just, I wasn't listening. I I was focusing on something else. <laughs> I didn't realize staring at something shut your eyes off. Ears, honey. <laughs> ears. You hear with your ears, not your eyes. Not with you. <laughs> this doesn't have a lot of mint flavor in it. No, it's very subtle. Like, if you didn't tell me this was supposed to be mint, I would have just thought it was a green cupcake. Mm -hmm. I'm very much done with that. I can't, I can't do a lot of the cupcake. Mm. I don't like the, I don't like the cupcakes. I usually don't either, but it's like, yeah. It was mint, it was chocolate, I wanted it. But these are... Of course, limited edition for the holidays. And we always try to do the limited edition taste um, test things. Uh, so you, if you want to try these for yourself, you can find them at Walmart. Would they be like two fifty for a box? Yeah, I think so. Uh, like these these are Hostess, so. I don't know what I think about this. It's it's like it, it's not. That's another thing that's kind of disappointing. Yeah, it's not bad, but it is kind of disappointing. It's not a really strong mint flavor there's like no mint in it like very very very, very little. little you very get little. more you get more lip or mint from like a lip balm than that yeah. <laughs> there's like so, a, um somewhat disappointing so yeah uh that was our little uh random taste test <laughs> saint patrick's day taste test um oh uh, yeah tomorrow tomorrow We'll probably post uh, another video tomorrow uh, for Valentine's Day. Yeah, we're doing this ass backwards. <laughs> it's her. Um, so, uh, I still got like one present left to get her for Valentine's Day, and uh, I'm getting it tomorrow. So tomorrow, um, we'll do a little Valentine's wrap-up, because we, we did Valentine's a little early. We typically do it. Like, we, if it falls on a weekday, yeah, we do it, it on the weekend before. Yeah. Uh, Valentine's Day falls on Tuesday, Tuesday this year. So... Hey, I can go spend Valentine's Day with my therapist. <laughs> <laughs> if he comes in this week. <laughs> so, uh... Since it's on a weekday, we decided to do our Valentine's weekend. Um... Oh, we can show them what we got mom, too, the little Yeah, thing. yeah, I was, yeah. was going to do that. But, uh, so, we'll have a video tomorrow about uh, pretty much what, she, what I got her uh, for Valentine's Day. Because um, most of what you got is the little finger thingies. Yeah. Got for you. Mainly all I got was uh, Disney Infinity stuff. That's since what you uh, wanted. Well, uh, let me talk here. Mainly what I got was uh, Disney Infinity stuff because the the clock is ticking down for the servers. Um, Did they it, get the it, day is, day? it is uh, February right now, so this is pretty much the last month. If you're going to get the online achievements, this is pretty much the last month you can do it. I, bel I can't remember if they had like a set date, but... I'm assuming March 1st, that's that's it. Um, honestly, you would have to look at the Disney Infinity website. I haven't looked at it lately. Um, 
I remember when they first announced that the servers were being shut down, I looked at it, but I don't remember, like, because they did have a set date on there, I just don't remember what it was. It was in March, though. It was March. Um, so I'm assuming, since I haven't looked lately, uh, I'm assuming that it's March 1st. So if you want to get the achievements or trophies for online, get them achievements. Get them ASAP. Um, I know 2.0, there's only really two or three. Only really two or three that you need. Um, like, two of them you can do by yourself, because it's just like, uh, well, one is for uploading a video, which you can just save to your Disney Cloud. Real easy. Uh, the other one is for, um, oh, uh, downloading user-generated toy Coffee, boxes. Yeah. So, it, that one's, again, really easy. Just grab, like, what a, whatever amount it that's required. Just download them. It's really easy. The third one that is online is four-player. You have to do it four-player. So, if you have an extra controller, you can throw... You can throw, um... <laughs> if you have, like, a second character and an extra controller, just put your extra character on there, sign in a guest on the second controller and then find someone that has two controllers. That's pretty much really, really easy. You just got to find someone to boost with. Um, for 3.0, 3.0 is, I believe, anything that you have to do in the uh, theater, in the Toy Box Hub, you go to the theater and you have to play a user-generated uh, level. If it's asleep. <laughs> and then the other ones are for Flynn's Arcade, which is like right across the street, pretty much. Um, you gotta win like so many, win or participate, something like that, in so many online matches. Oh, my foot's asleep, my in, leg's asleep. In the arcade, and that is four players, so. Again, you can, if you have two controllers, two characters, you can sign a guest in on your second controller and find someone with two, with two controllers. It's simple as just finding someone to boost with. Yeah. Um, if you still need 1.0, if you still need the ones on 1.0, it's pretty much, I think there's only really like two on that one. Um, one was for playing a four-player game, okay. and the other one was for, um, being at the top of a four-player, uh, stack. So, um, I'm not sure if many of you... Just sitting out there on the bar... So, man, you you heard us doing a video, huh? You, you, you gotta you gotta make your appearance. Bye. I'm not sure if many of you need the 1.0 achievements or trophies or whatever, um, but you know it is counting down. Uh, if you need them, get them ASAP. You got like two weeks. Um, I'm still. I'm still working on uh, 2.0 and 3.0 uh, achievements for the X1. Uh, I've pretty much been playing Disney Infinity for like the past month. Probably like the past month and a half, two months. Just getting everything unlocked and enjoying it. Getting the achievements and whatnot. I finished everything on the Excuse me. Finished everything on the 360, and now I'm going for Xbox One, so. Uh, yeah, that, I think that's pretty much it. I don't, I don't know where she took off to, uh, but I think that's pretty much it. Um, Taco Bell has that Naked Chicken Chalupa. Um, it is really good. 
I highly recommend it. Uh, it is only going to be available for a limited time, so if you want to try it, I'd say get in there and try it. Um, and those shamrock cupcakes. Honestly, it is such a subtle mint flavor that it's just like pretty much a regular cupcake. I don't recommend it. If you want to try it, you more than welcome to. You can find them at Walmart. Um, and then, of course, Disney Infinity. The servers are shutting down for the online achievements and online content. So any toy boxes that you want to download, download them immediately. If you still need the achievements or trophies, uh, the four player achievements or trophies, get them as soon as you can. Um, because I believe it's March 1st and that's it. As soon as it's March 1st, it's shut down. Um, I'm not 100% on, on the date, but I'm just assuming March 1st and th that's pretty much it. Um, but, uh, on that, on that subject, on that note, um, not sure many of you have heard, but Avalanche Software, the developers of the Disney Infinity series, um, they have reopened their doors thanks to their new owners, Time Warner, which to me is kind of funny because Disney Interactive used to own Avalanche, but Disney Interactive closed its doors, they closed down Avalanche last year. Now Time Warner owns Avalanche, Time Warner is uh, Warner Brothers Interactive. So, you know, so Avalanche has reopened, I believe, I believe all of its previous employees have returned. Um, I know the lead design for Avalanche has his job back um, and they are hard at work right now on their new game under Warner Brothers Interactive they are working on the Cars 3 game <laughs> um, so hopefully that comes out really good um, it, for me, for me, hearing that Avalanche is, has reopened, it kind of gives me hope, a little bit of hope for maybe a new Disney Infinity game, maybe like one more, like, ultimate game that includes everything. You know, maybe they can figure out a way to, uh, allow access to all the previous toys, every toy that has been released, be compatible with this as well as put out some new toys, some new play sets. To me, that would be awesome if they could do that. Just, like, one last game. I mean, Avalanche has learned a lot, you know, putting out those first three. So, we'll see, we'll see what the future holds for Avalanche Software and Disney Infinity. You know, as of right now, you know, in Disney Infinity has no future, you know, it's pretty much done, but who knows, you know, um, Warner Brothers Interactive, you know, Time Warner and Avalanche Software, you know, they may, they may say, you know, Avalanche may want to do Disney Infinity again and say, hey, you know, can we do this? You know, can you, uh, see if we can get the rights from Disney to do this again? They may do it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Um, me personally, I would love that, uh, but I think that they should do like one ultimate game um, that allows you to use every single character and playset that's been released, all the power discs, everything that has been released for all three games, just be able to use all of it on one game, as well as, and then, you know, after, after that, you know, just put out new playsets and new figures periodically, you know, maybe like every quarter, you know, every three months, and put out uh, one or two new play sets, something like that, you know, because um, they're, you know, Disney is huge, they, 
there's like a lot that they missed out on. I mean, uh, honestly, they should have had like a a uh, Nightmare Before Christmas playset. That would have been awesome. They should have had a Frozen playset. You know, that's my opinions, of course. Um, many of you may have different opinions. You know, it, it's all good. Um, but... But yeah, uh, we'll see what the future holds for Avalanche, uh, what they're going to be working on, and how things go for them. Uh, we'll see if there is a place in the future for Disney Infinity, um, and uh, we'll go from there, so. Are you still making a video? Yeah. Uh, I was just wrapping up. Hi. And so, yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, that's pretty much all I got. Was there anything you wanted to add? I have no idea what you've been sitting in here talking about for right, the past so, 10 minutes. Well, uh, that's pretty bye. much what I got. So, uh, <laughs> bye. Bye! <laughs>